Hi, thanks for coming late in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, yeah, talk about my work and a bit about photo montage. And uh, my work is all very much about participation and people being involved and um, uh, taking part and protesting. And so, if anybody wants to, I always say it's, I know it's very difficult, people. But if you want to interrupt or say something shit, or whatever you want to say. It's great to say, you know, you can just say it, you can do it during the talk rather than, um, obviously, you know, we have some questions and answers at the end, but if you want to break in, I'd be really happy to do that. Um, so I, I started off um, as a, a studying painting, and then um, uh, through... Katrina's just saying it reminds me very much of Dada. Sorry? It reminds me very much of Dada. Yeah, but this is Dada. Yeah, that's not like that. Yeah, yeah. It's Hannah Hop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I started off studying painting and then um, uh, got involved in 1968, which is way before most people in this room were born, um, in the uh, uh, protest movements against the Vietnam War, which I lived in London, I've always lived in London, um, and there were, big, there were big protests about the war in Vietnam. And I took part in those, and then I, through doing that, I wanted to try and find a way to uh, align the, the art I was doing with what I was beginning to believe politically. And um, it's something that happens with some people, I think, that you, one wants to actually equate the two things. It's not just doing art and then one's beliefs are separate, although that's true for a lot of people, which is fine. But for me, I wanted to try and find a way to integrate things. So I started looking at um, different sorts of art that were taught to me at the slave where I went, which was very much about a certain sort of painting at that time. Um, and I started looking at uh, Dardaris. Um, you were right there. This is by, um, this is by the great Hannah Hopp, who is a um, an artist who um, worked uh, at the time of the First World War, and, uh, and, and this piece was made um, to start for the First World War. And she, she, her work's only just really become well known because it's, it's very political, which puts the art world off, which I think we'll go into a bit. Also, the fact that she was a woman and, and women were very much sidelined in terms of art history. And, and still are to some extent. Um, but she, was, she looked at the society of Germany after the war, which was a very chaotic society, and produced these collages, which are um, pieces of magazine which are cut up and then put together. And as you can see, it, it's a very chaotic image. And in a way, she was trying to express the sort of the chaos that she saw around her. Um, and, and it, it was a movement that was responding to the, to the horrors of the First World War, the people coming back from the war injured and maimed, and, um, and millions of people died. Um, so what she did, in a sense, is make a sort of cracked mirror of society. You know, this is like putting a mirror up to what was going on and then breaking it, and you get all the fragments shooting out. Um, and she was part of a movement called Dadaism, which um, I won't go into because I think you probably have heard about it, which was a, a, a protest movement, really, of artists um, at that time, which has became the forerunner for all uh, um, forms of cultural protest since, you know, right up to, right through punk and all, all the things that have actually been um, dissenting voices against society. Um, and this is by an artist called John Hartfield, and, and also George Gross, uh, and they, they collaborated on work. And again, you've got this sense of a play of, of an explosion of material coming out, including the words da-da and right here, the play. So you get this sense of them playing with material. Um, and uh, um, Hartfield, uh, well that's the wrong button, I think. Let's play that. <coughs> I think that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Sorry, folks. That's all right. I'm, I'm a techno dodo. <laughs> just press play. Yeah, it's hmm? Just press play. It's off. Press play. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Hartfield went from doing that, um, which again had this chaos, to uh, looking at actual photographs of what was going on with the rise of fascism, <coughs> and the rise of Hitler in Germany. And um, he would go to a picture photo archive, and um, took he took this picture and then produced that from it. Um, and this says at the top millions stand behind me and Hitler had actually made a speech the week before saying millions stand behind me so Hartfield's image was like a sort of um, a complete uh, protest against um, what Hitler was doing but using Hitler's own words turned back on him and underneath it says the meaning of the Hitler salute and this is the sort of and, and what it's showing is big business which at that time was financing the, the rising fascist party the Nazis, um, big business handing money into Hitler's hand. And that's the sort of um, uh, basis for photo montage, is where you bring two, two elements together, and through bringing them together, you create a third meaning, and you break open some of the smoothness of imagery that um, is produced uh, in propaganda like with Hitler or in advertising or in whatever area. It's a way of breaking things open through connection and showing what, what is behind uh, images. So that, that was one of his. And then as he got into it, he, 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 he set up his friends, like these are his mates on the scaffold, and then produced that from it. And, um, and this was a book cover. So suddenly he found a form of working that communicated, I mean the early Dada work was very exciting but it communicated really to an art community of people that were um, involved in that way. This, this sort of work could go out to, to the mass of people and it's understandable and that's what he wanted to do was to make a work where it wasn't the original that was important, it was the reproduction of the, of the work that was important. Um,